Do you see these thin lines stretch out, drawn tight, the thin divisors of space, keeping me company at night, and I lay my head on them, pretending they don't exist? Comfort comes in the strangest of places. When my bowl is empty and all the lights in the cabin have gone out, I stroke my finger gently, stripping rust dust and leaving a trail of blood in its place, and I push harder until the pain burns the mind and grab onto the wire with both hands and push popping skin, painting Barb's blood red, screaming into the darkness of a world I cannot enter foot in. Impulse to go against rote. Defeat the tedium of the day song. Crack the egg and watch the contents spill out. For no reason other than amusement. I want to climb to the top, not to be steady, but to fall, to feel the wind cushioning my face, to hit the pavement and watch myself from a distance rise again. One deserving, he hides behind a shadow and a veil, containing all forms of self-denial, self-loathing, despair. And I want to reach out my hand into his, and from the highest place I can find, screaming, crying, howling out his name, but no one is watching but me, no one is listening but my ears, to the dulled echo of myself on rock, he is a faded footprint, folded in my pocket and preserved, like a memory carved in stone. Insert coin into slot. The number falls from the edges of the mind, like water on a fall, emotion, burbling up and singing. Oh, the excitement! But the line is dead. It's been dead four years and half a mile, between breaths, I gnaw at the mouthpiece and wood for hours, but conscience calls ringing through the wire with false memories. Coat comes off the hanger, hat on top, mittens. Another day pretending to be warm in the dead of winter. Urgency sings and I dip, one toe, two, Soon my feet followed by a leg and a hand, gliding in, slow motion, and the skin grows goosebumps, one after another, no more smoothness to my curves, and the mouth with a mint is the same. Hounded out across a pale gray valley, shades of purple spotted skin, softly glown amid the half-lit dusk, Pronounced vision, cattle call, whistle. I wouldn't know where to find you, not where to begin or end or interim. So instead I sob beneath the baseboards and in the china cabinets, in the cubby where we used to keep the cleaning chemicals. I dance among the toxic shelves and in a pool of cascade murk. And it's no different than being in your arms, the same intoxication. The only difference is when I wake up, I am myself. At the seaside, I surrender you my love, and hold on tightly to you, and know between my fingers what I hold will crumble, break apart. The tighter my grip, the faster it will slip between and fall away from me. What is real and tangible in this illusory dream? My breath, the songs stuck in my head, a momentary flicker of light as the grains of sand pull me into a foreign land, the burning sensation in my heart. It slips away, turning the damp hand sour, Loosening the pebbles where once your feet were planted, it comes to collect them one by one. Drawing out the memory of you with the cold and painful wash of the morning surf. Two steps forward, one in the direction of our youth. 
but shouldn't it be reversed in accordance with our longing to reach out and touch the sky, hands in rungs and pull it down to us, or lie still? There is a slow death inside of me, and a hollow emptiness of form, where I can hear the echo of my beating, well past twelve, and into the morning sun. A screaming bottle rocket pointed towards the bottom of the creek floor, burbling its muted voice for the anticipatory faces of little boys. Soon it will burst, their voices inside of me, and I will continue as I have been, never glancing back or taking measure, except the occasional glancing to, b to the blister of my thumb. You leave a bad taste. It won't come clean no matter how hard I scrub, and it makes me want to scream how long how much I trusted and put stock in things you said, our private discourse, our messy bedsheets, our concrete haven under the highway, and I'm lost now, broken beyond, com beyond repair, settling in the shadows in shame until the morning comes to claim me from my death. Remember when you wanted so much to capture every word I spoke to you, and you listened head bent to the ground for the inner tumblings of my thoughts, unspoken but revealed through the poetry of my breath, I remember when the thought of you wound its way as a python grappling the beach through my body, and when I closed my eyes and faded into the deepest parts of mind, you were there, holding me up, and in more closely to myself than I have ever been. Why does love unravel? A momentary tight grip of the heart, loosening with time until its fingers slip away altogether. Not I, but my words, so many, falling into darkness. It's just a two-minute ride, no more. Keep me entertained, rock my body, and with a gentle whisper in your ear, I'll leave you. I took you to the council, removing your mask in the aisle, where everyone could see. It wasn't my place to commit your sin, in front of everybody, but now, every time I see a glimpse of you in memory, I touch the scar. For all the days we spent, hidden up in costumes and disguise, you never were as beautiful as with your face revealed. And now I'm writing you letters from my prison, contemplating my repentance and disease. Death has become just another skin to shed, flaking bits of flesh, painful to lose at first, but they scab over, grow new layers, heal. Turning the head over the shoulder to realize the world is not as one remembers, this is the most excruciating part for me, not to see that I have aged myself, but to watch the world I knew crumble, disappear. No different from the last you left, one in a series of decadence, loving and supporting you, without reform, and I would pull you under with me, hold you there beneath my kiss, until you turn blue again. And all the clamoring and the shouts and screams fade. The ocean's tide lingers, her chaotic noise, her chaotic white noise, caress the scalp and sense, and I'm floating in and out of the sea, where your dead body bobs. It's not the place we tried to be. You held me, but your will was weak, and I kissed you softly, but there was nothing holding me. Our feet did not touch the ground. Although we reached the sky, and painted clouds disturbed the lightning, 
you slept and kept me in focus in your lens. Until the phase shift, the, er the spinning earth, the separation of the seasons, my feet moved while yours stood firmly planted in the ground where we first met, beckoning after with no reply, waiting in the dampened mud, howling. What lies beyond the shallowness of surface? What secrets do you keep locked up inside? I would swim all day in your eyes and test the temperature of your lies if I knew I wouldn't drown in the sweetness of the words. Instead, I'll watch you from a distance where I can catch my breath and feel noontime sun wash over me. I'll watch you play rough games in deep water. Lines, arches, softly spoken poetry, the driftwood coming in as my gaze extends, arms wrapped around your neck, a distant sacrifice, a wholly unheard strum of the guitar, my sneeze into unwashed hands, thinking unclean thoughts of you. Drown in flames, and let my words have the magic they once held over you. Draw me closer, and let me touch beneath the skin. Close your eyes, and trust. I want you to mount my shores. Rustle me with the hot wind of your breath. Adore every imperfection in my form, as though knocking at my door with your eyes. Serve me hot tea, a biscuit with honey on the side, and I'll serve you from the depths of my soul. I will give you everything after you have gone. Each of you has touched me in your own way, held a part of me inside of you. And when I walked on Tuesday mornings beneath the bright blue sky and drifted in thought, I could see my face a little bent, a tad distorted, when I looked at the way you reacted to me, and now what is left is just a mirror, solid and hard and cold and dead, no longer twisting my reflection.